guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to Photography Talk episode 90. Now in this week's news, a new report sheds light on how many professional photographers are actually using their smartphones for professional work. And this is a little bit more than you probably think. In other news, Canon R5 users now have a new option for cooling their cameras and Sony might have a super camera in development that will be ready in time for the 2022 Winter Olympics. Now we're gonna chat about all these stories in just a moment, but first, look, we put these little newsreels together every single week to keep you informed as far as what is happening. Now, of course, if we were successful and you found some value in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It really does help the channel out with that whole YouTube algorithm. That said, let's get on to this week. No, actually, uh, before we get into this week's headlines, I do have to share with you, uh, a few days ago, we released the video of a opening the box of Metal Mouth Prints, and I, I think the headline spoke about something finally, uh, somebody did this in the metal print industry. Um, it was actually regarding these folks right here, Metal Mouth Prints. So I spoke about, the, if you've not seen that video, highly recommend taking a look to it uh, or taking a watch to it. Basically, Metal Mouth Prints, uh, a small family-run business, came out with a magnetic uh, frame system for your metal prints. And what excites me about this is it solves one of the big problems that as photographers, as artists, we all have, and that is limited space on our wall. That video was shot about a month and a half ago, and at the time, these were pre-production prints. Well, I just got word that they are now, their website is all updated, and these things are now available. So I'm gonna put a link down below. I'm gonna, actually, I'll put two links. One will be to Metal Mouth Prints, so you can take a look at them directly. And then if you've not watched that video from earlier this week, I'll put a link to that as well, and definitely highly recommend, because there you see me opening up the box, and you get my first impressions, and I'm gonna go through uh, the print in the mounting system or the frame system and it's very badass. Now, with that said, guys, let's get on to this week's headlines. Now, it's obvious that smartphones have completely changed photography, but if you think that amateurs are the only ones that are using their phones to take photos, my friend, you're you're gonna be surprised and you're wrong. A recent survey revealed that 36% of photographers have shot some of their professional work with their smartphone. Now, I think we all can agree that there's been a huge advances in the quality of smartphone imagery over the last few years. At the same time, I think we all can agree that even the most capable smartphones can't go toe to toe with something like a R6, R5, or for that matter, a Sony A1, but, the results of the survey show that smartphones for paid professional photography is becoming more and more acceptable. Now this had me thinking, will there be a day that professionals head out and they use just their smartphones? You know, perhaps so in the future, I don't know. Leave a comment below, let me know what your thoughts. Either way, we'll have to wait and see. Now if you have an EOS R5 like I do, you've probably encountered a situation in which it has likely probably overheated on you. A while back, we talked about a modification from Calary Vision that used a new copper heat sink to transfer the heat away from the motherboard processor. Now, the problem with that solution, it requires internal work on the camera, which voids out the warranty. But now you might be able to mitigate the overheating problem by adding a external exhaust fan to your camera. Now, the tilted cooling system is a fan that, actually, let's pretend this Sony A1 is a R5. So basically, it's a, fan system that is attached to the rear LCD of your, your camera that resides there when the, the screen, well this thing doesn't articulate, but imagine if this was an R5, the screen would be over here. So when the screen's over here, that heat sink or that little fan is sitting right here. The fan is attached using an ARCA base plate or if you have one of Tilta's cages, it can be attached to that. Now, um note is that the fan can tilt downward, therefore allowing you to fold the LCD back into place. Now the seven blade fan runs at 5,000 RPM and produces about 30 decibels of noise. Though the company knows that there are slower and quieter speed options. The fan is powered by USB-C and requires an external power supply like your smartphone which can be mounted to the hot shoe of your camera now the price tag of this thing is 165 dollars so it's obviously it's much cheaper option than what we've previously discussed now of course it remains to be seen if this external device has the capacity of cooling down the camera 
sufficiently. Now, one of the things that is a little bit of a red flag or mystery, I remember reading about this a little while back and Tilt they had on their, their webpage something about this thing cooling your camera down to 59 degrees. If you go to their page right now, there's no mention of any specific numbers of how much it would cool your camera down, nothing. So there hasn't been any real world uh, comparisons yet. So out to lunch, but if you wanna explore that, I'm gonna put a link down below. And if you do pick this thing up, let me know. If you found some uh, gap between where your camera was and what it was after running this, let us know. Now, Canon and Nikon stole the show at the Olympics this year with their upcoming EOS R3 and the Z9 cameras getting a test drive. Apparently, well, Sony wants to steal the limelight back during 2022 during the Winter Olympics because Sony Alpha Rumors is reporting that Sony is developing a monster that will be ready by time the Beijing games or the Beijing games come around. Here are the rumored spec: an all-new full-frame 20.22 megapixel stacked Exmor R sensor, upgraded Bion Z XR processor, an electronic shutter with anti-flicker shooting and silent vibration-free performance, an electronic shutter flash sync up to 1 500th second, which is even faster than the Sony A1's mechanic shutter flash sync, uh, continuous shooting up to 60 frames per second with no blackout and the ability to perform 120 autofocus and A calculations per second, which is pretty darn fast. You have five axis in-body stabilization, which is good for up to 6.5 stops, industry leading Wi-Fi to support professional workflows to go along with the super speed USB 10 gigabytes per second and 1000 base T ethernet. You have a 5.76 million dot OLED uh, UXGA EVF, uh, 4K 60p 10 bit video at 422 with full sensor oversampling in S Cinetone color matrix. You also have 15 stops of dynamic range for still images and for videos as well. Now it's really important to note that this is just a rumor. This this is, this is only rumor coming from an anonymous source and none of these rumor specs have been verified. However, if just even a few of these specs end up being accurate, Sony could have one heck of a sports camera on their hands. And of course, we're gonna find out here in the oncoming year and as we find out more information, we'll keep you guys informed. All right guys, now that we've discussed this week's headlines, let's talk about our giveaway. We have three great prizes. We have the F-Stop Toyota Series camera bag, the Haida M15 filter holder and filters, and of course, the $100 Adorama gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave it a comment on, the more chance that you have to win. So get watching some more of the videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you introduced yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But hey, as we keep saying, swing on by, say hello, let us know what's going on. That is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on the site and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck. Well, there you go, guys. Photography Talk episode 90 is in the bag. 10 away from 100. Woo woo. Guys, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier, these videos are a blast to put together. I love getting in front of you guys and sharing with you the top three little news nuggets that took place during that week. Now, of course, I'm going to ask you because we're trying to grow the channel. So if you found some value, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hey, what are you waiting for? We would love to have you part of the family. So please consider hitting the subscribe button while you're at it. Hit that bell. So therefore, every time that we come out with a new video, you, my friend, are notified. That said, guys, I'm gonna be jumping out of my studio so you get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.